This week I've done three things for the first time in four months. Got on a bus, gone into town and gone to the pub. Going into town wasn't something I wanted to do. As far as casting my alert, viral risk assessing eye over situations, the high street is right up there on my list of places not to go. But my son desperately needed a haircut and a pair of shoes. He got a haircut straight away. I'm not sure that the fact that they were almost empty was a good sign, but he got a passable cut that's a hundred times better than the haystack he's been nurturing. So, masks in place, I waited outside. We'd bought shoes online, but they didn't fit, so we went to return them to the store and get another pair. While my son tried on shoes, we had googled COVID-19. Is trying on shoes okay? The night before. The salesperson told me he was currently commuting from London to Brighton. There's a turnaround. There weren't enough customers to fill the stores of this chain in London, so he was working in Brighton. London's deserted, he said. Without tourists, it was empty and shops would probably start closing. He was thinking strategically that he should move down to Brighton to stand a better chance of keeping his job. We got some shoes and then went to the bank, where there was a queue of 20 people outside. I reluctantly got in line, till someone in an HSBC t-shirt offered to put my cheque in for me. I handed over the cheque and my bank details, ignoring my instincts that told me this was a really bad idea, and skipped the queue. She told me she wasn't allowed to bank the cash I had, which seemed unlikely behaviour for a thief, so I felt reassured. Town was quiet. Fairly busy round a shopping centre, but the high street itself seemed half as busy as it would normally be. We wore masks all the time, hand sanitised every twenty minutes, and kept our distance from people. We got the bus home, my brain again looking at every handrail as a potential viral hotbed, so masks were still on and hand sanitizer was liberally applied.